All right, I just want to show something. I wanted to make a micro torch, but I didn't want to use a blunt hypodermic needle because I couldn't find them anywhere in this stupid city. So I came up with an alternative I wanted to show you. Take a look at that. This copper tube has the smallest little orifice at the end. And the place where you find this is called the capillary tube in refrigeration. And it flashes refrigerant gas or refrigerant liquid into gas. And look, those evaporators in the other video where I was telling you guys to cut out, on one of the two spots is where I cut this off of. So that's where you'll find it if you need it. And all I've got running, both dry cells are off. There's only just the VSPV cell inside here running. And this is what it looks like. There you go. And even though these little micro torches make such a small flame, just check out what it'll do to stainless steel. Anyway, my hand's shaking a little too much to get it to burn right through, but it definitely will burn through. I've done it already. Amazing what a little tiny flame can do, how much heat it can throw out. But anyway, the reason I want it is because I just wanted to solder an electrical connector onto a wire. I'm sure there's a million other applications. I know jewelers like to use this little tiny flame. But anyway just wanted to show that and I also just wanted to say if you guys ever do use this little system for a micro torch when you cut a copper tube this small you can't just take a pair of pliers and cut it it'll close off the hole so take a very small angled file uh, and use the edge of the file and just file in uh, a groove about halfway through the tube and then just bend the tube back and forth until it breaks off and then you'll have your hole that's a little refrigeration tip there you go. This is just some regular plumbing solder, and then I'm gonna pick up a brazing rod, which takes a lot more heat to melt. I just wanted to show that it can melt both very easily. Alright, so we saw it sustain a small flame, so I turned on my mini dry cell and the VSPB cell just to add more gas, and I found out that it is even better at sustaining a larger flame, actually. Uh, the flame goes right off the tip of the copper, so there's no heat at all on the copper. So now the cool thing about this is the flexibility of that copper tube. I could twist it and turn it any way I want, and I can still sustain a flame at the end of that. So that's going to come in handy on something in the future, I'm sure.